What's up guys, this is Keith with Cyber and You. Today we're going to go over a quick tutorial on how to install Docker for the Mac OS, specifically Mojave. Now I use a Homebrew for Mac, which is basically a Mac flavored package manager. So we're going to do brew cask install Docker. Now the reason I do brew cask install Docker is because the cask um, option make sure that I download a Mac native application version of Docker. And also in the past, if you do um, the command just brew install Docker, um, it tended to not install um, Docker Machine, Docker Compose, um, just, the, just the engine, which is not enough to get you up and running. So we're gonna go ahead and wait for this to finish downloading and installing. All right, it's already done. Now I'm going to hit the space bar and command button on my Mac and bring up Docker. I'm going to let it initialize here in the background as soon as it pops up. All right, yeah, my Mac's a little slow, so verifying the Docker application. Maybe. Maybe. All right. I'll go ahead and open that. It's going to ask me for my admin credentials after I hit OK here. Go ahead and type my password in. All right. As you can see, you got a little whale icon up here, and the Docker desktop is initializing in the background. So while that's going, I'm going to go ahead and do a brew cask install VirtualBox. Um, VirtualBox is the default virtual machine manager for Docker Mac. Um, we're going to need that to do a little test run of a VM creation through Docker Machine Create. So we'll go ahead and let Homebrew install and download what I need here. Keep an eye on the Docker desktop as it's still initializing the background. And again, you guys probably have a better equipment so my mac is about six years old so it's a little slow all right you see cask is installing virtualbox all right it's asking for my password uh, keep in mind uh most of you guys are going to probably just run this in sudo so you'd be root or a version of admin won't have to do that all right docker desktop is done if you click the icon, you can see the Community Edition Engine 18.09, and then Kubernetes, which is the orchestration manager. Uh, we will not get into that right now, but in future videos, we will discuss that. All right, waiting for Homebrew to finish the installation. All right, it's done. All right, we're just going to do a Docker info. Gives us a little more detail than the Docker icon that we just saw. We got our server version again, license down here, community edition, which is the open source version of Docker and free, very important. All right, you can also do uh, Docker version. And again, shows the CE version, API, uh, the Git version that it was pulled from. All right. All right, we're going to do a little test run here and run docker dash machine create manager. And manager is basically just a Docker role. Um, it's a it's a node role. Um, it does maintenance of cluster states, scheduling services, and um, serves as a management tool for swarm mode. So this is really easy. It's doing all of this in the background through through scripts, VirtualBox is literally spinning up a VM. It's going to give it its own SSH key. Here in a second, it's going to pull up the IP based off of the VLAN that the VM is in. This might take a minute.
It is important to note if you do not have VirtualBox installed, um, if you try to run the docker machine create command, you will obviously run into an error. So make sure you have um, VirtualBox installed. And you can do it through um, Homebrew as a formula, or you can just go to the Oracle VirtualBox website and download the latest version, however you want to do it. All right. Looks like it's finishing up here. It's got an IP. All right, it's got the daemon, remote daemon running now. All right, well, I just wanted to test that out. As you can see, it is running. We do have Docker installed. So now we're gonna do a Docker machine remove manager. And that's it. If you found this video useful, um, please leave a comment below. And